Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Margarita and today I'm here to bring you an August book haul. So this book haul is incredibly large because August is my birthday month. So I have some gifts in here. I also um, tend to splurge on things that I really, really love during my birthday month. Um, one of those things obviously being books and I have no self-control. So that is a really bad combination for my wallet when it comes to the month of August, but it only comes once a year. So, hey, what you gonna do? A lot of these books were either bought on book outlet or um, secondhand bookstores. So that was nice. Um, but without further ado, let's just talk about the pile and the mountain and the stack of books that I have today. <laughs> So the first book that I have to talk about is Celtic Tales, Fairy Tales and Stories of Enchantment from Ireland, Scotland, Brittany, and Wales. So this is illustrated by Kate Forrester. And this is exactly what it says, um, Celtic fairy tales and myths. And I'm just really excited to read it. I saw this, this at an independent bookstore and I fell in love with it. It's absolutely stunning. Um, the illustrations are absolutely stunning. Of course now I can't find one. Um, but here, like look how absolutely gorgeous that is. So I saw this and I just had to have it. I could not leave it at the store. My goal at one point is to own books about fairy tales and mythology and folklore from all over the world. So I thought that I would add this to my collection. I already have, you know, Greek mythology. Um, I want to get a book on ancient Egyptian mythology. But I also have a book on Native American um, mythology and folklore and stuff. And I just thought that this would be a really great collection. The next book that I have is also along the same theme. And that is Norwegian Folk Tales by, I can't pronounce these guys' names. But this is basically this along the same lines of the Grimm brothers, but this duo is incredibly famous for collecting Norwegian folk tales and fairy tales. And this was a gift from my parents when they went to Scandinavia. This was the only book that they could find in English about Norwegian folk tales. So they kindly bought it for me and brought it all the way back to the United States. And I am so thankful. I already started reading it. Really enjoy it. It's good. The next book that I have is Vinegar Girl by Ann Tyler, and this is a retelling of The Taming of the Shrew. I've seen this book out in the world for a while, and I've wanted it for quite some time, and I finally saw it for a price that I could not pass up, and it's just an absolutely stunningly published book. So I cannot wait to read this. I actually had to read The Taming of the Shrew my freshman year of high school instead of reading Romeo and Juliet, which I'm still a little upset about. But since I did have to read that original um, Shakespearean play, I decided that this would be a really good um, book to read since I already know the subject material. The next book that I have was a gift from my friend Maya, and that is Red, White, and Royal Blue by Katie Casey McQuiston. And this is a alternate universe where the first lady's son falls in love with the prince of england i believe and i'm just excited to read it who doesn't want more romance in their life and i've heard nothing but wonderful things about this book so i'm excited to read it the next book that i have to talk about is now i rise by um kirsten white this is the second book in her gender bent vlad the impaler series the first one is now i darken and I'm super excited to read this um, and continue on with the series. I never picked it up from the library, even though I said I would. So now I have it on my shelves. There's no excuse not to pick it up. The next set of books are from the same author, um, Ali Smith, and that is Autumn and Winter. And this is part of, I believe, a quartet. And they basically talk about um, current issues. I believe that Autumn touches on um, Brexit and this these are basically just books that I've heard really wonderful things about and I saw for super cheap and decided to pick up. The next book that I have to talk about is The Three Body Problem by Susan Liu. 
translated by Ken Liu, and um, this is a hard sci-fi book that I don't really know much more than that, but I know that I need more sci-fi on my shelves. I'm very interested in getting more into sci-fi. So when I saw this for super cheap, I definitely wanted to pick it up. I've heard some really good things. The next book that I have to talk about is The Girl in Red by Christina Henry. And I really, really enjoy her books, um, her fairy tale retellings. This is a retelling of the... <sighs> Goldie, not Goldilocks, Little Red Riding what's wrong with me um this is a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood and I believe that this is like a post-apocalyptic world where some disease has like taken over the world and I'm super duper excited to read this I really enjoy her books they're really dark and creepy and twisted and those are just all things that I really love in stories wrapped into a um fairy tale retelling it's it checks all my boxes it just check 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 the next book that I have to talk about is The Dead Fathers Club by Matt Haig, and I've heard wonderful things about Matt Haig. I started reading The Humans, but I had to return it before I could finish the book, but this is um, when 11-year-old Philip Noble is confronted by the ghost of his recently deceased father and asked to avenge his death, the boy finds himself in a thorny dilemma. So, like, awesome. This just sounds like it'll be good. And this is an absolutely stunning cover, if I do say so myself. The next book that I have to talk about, I'm so excited about, it. it's so beautiful. And that is The Labyrinth of Spirits by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. This is the fourth book in his, um, I don't know, is there a name for this series? But The Shadow of the Wind, that, um, those companion novels, this is the fourth book in that. And it's absolutely stunning, this I mean, everything about this book is beautiful. So The Shadow of the Wind is one of my absolute favorite books of all time. I loved his writing in it. And I recently read The Angel's Game, really enjoyed that one also. So now I have all four of the books in that collection. Um, and I cannot wait to continue on reading them all for it. Yes, please. The next book that I have to talk about is The Sea Witch by Sarah Hemming, and this is a Little Mermaid retelling, but I believe that it's the origin story of Ursula. So I am looking for good Little Mermaid retellings because the other ones that I have read recently are complete trash, so hoping that this goes well. Along the same veins, I have To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo, and this is another Little Mermaid retelling, but it's a dark one where basically they're sirens and they kill men and for some reason she can't kill this one prince i don't know i'm excited i just give me all the dark mermaids and the wonderful storytelling yes please i'm all for it the next book that i have does not have a dust jacket which i'm very sad about but i got it from the scratch and dent selection of book outlet so you can't be picky and that is white stag by kara barbary I don't know but um the book when I read the synopsis sounded amazing um I can't read it to you because obviously there's no dust jacket but I'm looking forward to reading it I will tell you my thoughts and opinions on it when I actually read it the next set of books that I bought are part of a series and that is The Innocent Mage and Awakened Mage by Karen Miller and I believe that these are just going to be awesome fantasy books I saw them at Wonder Books, which is the, um, the secondhand bookstore in my area, and they just sounded really cool, and I wanted to give them a shot, so I picked them up. The next book that I have, also two books by the same author, but completely different series. Um, the first one is Spindle's End by Robin McKinley, um, and this is about a princess who's spirited away from an evil fairy. On her name day so this must be um a sleeping beauty retelling and we all know i love retelling so i'm all for this i've heard wonderful things about robin mckinley's writing and her fairy tale and like her stories and her fairy tales and stuff so i'm really looking forward to this then i also got the outlaws of sherwood by robin mckinley and i believe that this is a robin hood story retelling so looking forward to that Next, this was a gift from my mom's friend Gabby, and it is called Max Best Friend Hero Marine. 
that if they're not an author? I don't know. But apparently this is a motion picture and it is about Max, who is the, um, the dog of a soldier who dies and he goes to live with his um, owner's brother and their relationship and everything. And I'm just, I'm all for it. Like, give me more dog. We don't deserve dogs. We just don't. Give me more stories about why we don't deserve dogs. I love it. The next book that I bought is The Immortalist by Chloe Benjamin. And I actually bought this because my friend Sarah absolutely loved it. So I decided I had to pick it up and give it a shot for myself. I believe that this is about um, a group of siblings who learn the day that they're going to die or how they're going to die and how their life um, is affected by that knowledge. Very interested in reading it. The next book that I bought is The Boneyard by Seanan McGuire. And this is a Deadlands novel. I don't think you have to read the other books in this series. Basically, I picked this up because it's written by Seanan McGuire and this cover just looks creepy as fuck and I'm all for it. So, don't know what this is, but I'm excited. It looks like a creepy circus. Let's do it. Sean and McGuire, I mean, let's do it. I'm all for it. The next set of books are also all by the same author. I I found authors at the secondhand bookstore, and I just picked up books that I've heard wonderful things about. So the first one is, um, these are all by Robin Hobb. I got Assassin's Apprentice and Assassin's Quest. I believe this is the first and second book. It might be the first and third book in the, um... Farseer trilogy, but I've heard nothing but wonderful things about this trilogy, so when I saw them there, I definitely wanted to pick them up and give them a shot. I've wanted to read Robin Hogg for a really, really long time, and I know this is where you're supposed to start, so super excited. And then also, while I was there, they also had Mad Ship by Robin Hogg, and this is a, um, live ship traders book i don't think that this is the first one but again i saw it there i know i'm very interested in reading the series so i figured i would pick it up that way i would have it when i purchased the other books in the series we're not done yet there's still a whole nother pile next to me i'm sorry if you're still here thank you you're a wonderful person the next set of books i have um, are by Juliet Marillier, and they are The Heir of Seven Waters and Son of Shadows, and these are the second and third books in her Seven Waters trilogy uh, series. So these are the first, the last two books in the original trilogy. I believe I have books one, four, and six. So now I have books one, two, three, and four. Um, and I just really enjoy the, the writing. I've heard nothing but wonderful things about the series. So I'm all for, hi. Okay, thank you. It's okay. So I um, am all excited to have these so I can continue on with the series. The next book that I have to talk about is The Pisces by Melissa Broden. And this it Broder, I can't tell if that's an R or an N. I think it's an R. And this is, I believe, about a woman who falls in love with a fish. I've seen things about it. Um, I'm just, I'm interested in trying it out. We'll see what I think. The next book is a book that was gifted to me by my friend Sarah, and that is Wilder Girls by Rory Power. This is a gender-bent Lord of the Flies retelling, where basically these girls are stuck on this island after this outbreak, and it causes these mutations, and I'm just all for it. I've heard that this book is amazing until like the very, very end, and according to Sarah, who started reading it, she has about 80 pages left, it is a five-star book. She doesn't understand what's going to happen in the end that's going to change that, but she's loving it, so I know I'm going to love it. The next book that I have is actually a manga, and this is The Girl from the Other Side, Story and Art by Nagabi. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, but this is basically about these two kingdoms, one that has monsters and one that has humans. And this little girl and this monster meet and befriend each other, which was not supposed to happen, but it did. And it just sounds creepy and adorable and everything that I want in a book. And then last but not least, we have three books by the same author, Tessa Dare. And that is the books in the Girl Meets Duke series. The first one is The Duchess Steel 
and then the governess game and la the most recent one is the wallflower wager and these are all historical romance novels i really love um tessa dare i've already read these two really really enjoyed them looking forward to reading this one i don't know if this is a trilogy or if there are going to be more books in the series but if there are you can bet that i will be purchasing them so those are all of the books that i bought in the month of august i know it's excessive what can I say? Let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these books, your thoughts and opinions on these books, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!